What the hell a dog do? Just... What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> guys, I have another video for you guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure you post notification on, guys, so when I get ready to post one of your requested videos, you will get the notification, guys. As y'all can see by the title, guys, another compilation video. If you cringe, you lose. Technically, that's what it's saying. Make sure you guys go and follow all my social media. The links will be in the description down below. Follow your girl on Instagram. And let's not be long, no time, guys. Let's go ahead on and get into this video. Let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. Many folks have a hard time facing reality, like this man who can't accept that his neighborhood isn't 100% liberal. You're a man! I'm happy. You're a man! Let's get right into it. Make America great again? Oh, that big, that's what you're that mad about. Big, okay. This is, said, a, this is the part that I love. That's why you're mad. You're a mag. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. a mag. I'm happy. You're a mag. You're a mag. Getting close in his face is, is absolutely crazy. You're a mag. Hey, you're touching. Don't touch me. Hey, don't, don't touch me. You touch me. You don't you get away me. from me. You, you get away from me. You get away from me! You get away from me! Oh, You're in my personal space. You get away from me! You are following me around! You are following me! Hey man, first of all, what the hell did the dog do? He just matched the dog. I'm glad I'm not that dog. I will call the police on you! Look at this guy. I will call the police on you, you freak! Let's find out why we yelling. This is a whole apartment complex. I'll be like peeping out my window like, can y'all take that somewhere else down the road? Follow me around some more. So it's freak. all, it's because I'm wearing a MAGA hat. It's because you're a freak and you want yep. some action. Oh, Follow me around some more. I'm going to the management this morning mm -hmm. and telling them what the hell is going on with this guy. Hi, how are you? Good, happy to help you. I'm here to pick up a prescription for Gwyneth McMullen. Okay, can you see what, uh, what's your birthday? 11 one 96. McMullen's your last name? Yes. now say she didn't want the change thank you thank you so much thank you i had a terrible experience with dogs hot so as everyone may know i'm transgender and i'm really afraid of dogs i feel like there should be no instance where a service dog should be allowed anywhere especially especially on a delta flight i felt like i was being attacked because the dog kept staring at me and growling at me because i was trans this was the message that i sent to the customer service representative and look what they said back they're not able to refund me and i just wanted a flight credit and they ghosted me. And well, let, just tell them you just want a flight credit. Don't put it on the dog. Talking about some, she want some money back because of the dog. <laughs> wow. The dog was growling at me for so long, and he made me feel like I was not in the right body, and I feel like it was a transphobic attack. He was trying to tell me that I was not a woman. 
my take is that there's a certain point in which even if you accidentally misgender me, it is still intentional. Because the fact that you as a cis person have not done the work to deconstruct how you are viewing trans bodies shows where your true intentions lie and they are not in the favor of trans folk. There's a lot of weight on these things as, as they should be, as there should be, you know, this is about respecting someone is, their humanity, who they are. The actor says he doesn't let misgendering bother him unless it's done intentionally. As long as someone's not like really, you know, intentionally coming for me or something, it's not. Oh, yeah. 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 Patience, it's okay. Page reflected on his own journey while discussing his transgender character, Sam, in Close to You. Unlike Sam, he doesn't correct people who misgender him by mistake. Yet Paige recognized that it does take him a moment to move on when it happens. I genuinely don't even know how this could happen again. And like I'm supposed to be getting ready for work right now and I'm just so... I, I just can't believe this shit. Run it back to me, why is she crying again? I don't, I don't, I, why, why are we crying? I just moved back to my hometown and I moved in with my dad and this is nothing like I remember it from when I was a child. Like my hometown is so MAGA now, like everyone is a Trump supporter and they're under this guise of well, he's the Christian option or like, whatever. They're just when if they actually read the fucking Bible and looked at Jesus' message, they would see that Jesus was a socialist. <laughs> oh my God, I just feel like I'm going crazy. <sighs> he didn't vote like he... <laughs> I don't even know, like... Why would he vote like that if he cared about me as a person, as a woman, as his daughter? It just feels so, like, embarrassing, and I feel so dis Why are we holding the tissue and we're not using Use the tissue. Disgusted. I don't even know how I'm supposed to continue staying here, or, like... <laughs> Oh, come here. What is that about? What is that about? I think you understand. I'm pretty sure you know. Oh, it's going to be good. We're going to be good. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We are all in this together. Yes, we are. We're going to be fine. We are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Did you get some spices today? You did? Oh. It's all good. It's all good. We're standing strong. Even when I was eight years old in that appointment where I remember clear as day, my doctor holding up the growth chart, she asked me what my favorite food was, and I said tomatoes. And my mom, bless her heart, was like, but you love mac and cheese. And then it was this whole thing of, well, cats out of the bag or something or whatever. Like, I'm like, so do a lot of love skinny mac people love, love mac and cheese, cheese. But my like, favorite food is tomatoes. I eat tomatoes to the day. I eat tomatoes based. All right. So I have an update on this. Um, I was hanging out with the homie yesterday. I'm not sure if a lot of you know, but I used to be in the gang. Shit, I was a leader of a gang. I used to be from 18th Street. But before that, I used to hang out with Florencia. And so I bumped into my homie. I won't say his name because I want to put his I like them glasses, though. The frame of them is nice. This is out there, but we were catching up, talking about homies and shit. Like, what's the homie doing now? This homie's working. This fool's in prison. A couple of them are doing good. A couple of them in prison and shit. We were, like, telling stories. And then at one point, he, I said my name, JP, or something. And he was like, JP? And I was like, yeah. He's like, what the fuck? And he was like, fool. He's like, I didn't realize it was you. He's like, you're like a pretty girl now. I was like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, fool, you're like a pretty girl. And I was like tripping out, and, and then later on at the end of the conversation, I was like, "Damn, boy, I didn't know. I didn't know that you didn't know it was me, like, because I had been telling him, what's up, fool?'" And uh, we finally got a chance to chop it up and shit. And then, um, but yeah, and then he's like, "Yeah, I'm still tripping, dog." He's like, "You look like a pretty girl." He's like, "Do you have silicone in your boobies?" And I was like, "No, these are my tits." And he started laughing. <laughs> but I wasn't like, "Hey, how are you?" I was just talking very homie-ish to him. But we were like reminiscing, catching up and shit. But that was probably like the first time I've had a homie. To someone that I knew from back in the day that was like, damn, fool, you look cute. So that was what's up. He's like, yeah, fool, you look like a pretty girl and shit. He's like, I didn't know it was you, dog. And I was like, yeah, fool, it's me, fool. But yeah, it's a homie and shit. But uh, yeah, that was like the first time that I had a homie be like, you look pretty, dog. <laughs>
Hey, every. Why was it so funny when he got to the party? You look pretty, dog, and it just got real. He just got very tickled. Everyone. So I have my cat, Ollie, here, who I've had for about six years. Um, and I've just been noticing over time he's been getting a little more effeminate. Um, just the way he kind of prances around and uses the litter box. Um, and so because of this, I've adopted gender neutral speech with Ollie. Um, and so I think this is really important. Um, if you just look at the science in the animal kingdom, there's actually a lot of animals that fall into the LGBTQIA category. Um, did you know freshwater snails are actually born hermaphroditic? Um, and there's also some fishes that go from one gender to another after their mate dies. Um, so I think it's just important that we don't assume our pet's gender or assume that they're a cisgendered animal. Um, it is possible that they may be part of the LGBTQIA animal community. Speak, boys Everyone. or girls? Everyone. Everyone. Barbies, boys or girls? Girls. Everyone. Let's cap. Skateboarding, boys or girls? Okay, girl. Everyone. Everyone. Nail polish, boys or girls? Mostly girls. Okay, most, mostly girls, but everyone. Thank you, Mr. Air. Dresses, okay. boys or girls? Okay, that one's only girls. Mostly girls, but again, everyone. <laughs> Yo, look, you can't tell me that Posty doesn't look cute in his little dress. Mr. You should, you should dress up in a dress. Come on now. Do you notice a pattern? Okay, no. Said, Everything for everyone? Everything's for everyone, absolutely. Things are just things meant for anyone who wants to enjoy them. Yo, do you want to play with a dinosaur? Yeah. Go ahead. Do you want to paint your nails? Nah, I'm good. If not, no. No one is forcing you to do these things, but yo, let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. Exactly. Oh my God. Alright guys, I hope you guys liked it, that little combination video. You know, it was a little cringe, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure you post a notification on, guys, so when I get around post one of your requested videos, you will get the notification, guys. Don't forget to go and follow your girl on all her social media. The links will be in the description down below. Follow your girl on Instagram. Y'all stay safe and blessed and let God do the rest. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Love ya.